Hello and welcome to Unsettled JD. Today let's go to Bratislava in Slovakia. I did not plan to go to this place, I just went because it was so close to Vienna. So I took the bus from Vienna to Bratislava. It was only about an hour, an hour and a bit. Um, the place is also, uh, Bratislava is actually really quite small as well. Everything for me was within walking distance, it wasn't that bad. Uh, when I first got there, I didn't really know what to do. I just really wanted to go to the castle. Uh, so I ended up going on a free walking tour, which was absolutely fantastic. It started by the opera house. Um, so they let you, uh, they show you where the statues are. There's a lot of statues. Uh, you walk around the old city center. They take you to the squares where the protesters uh, protested f um, for their democracy because Bratislava was um, part of the Communist Party um, with the Russians, so you learn about that. Um, and there's also walking tours, free walking tours as well, um, to give you a feel uh, for when the country was part of the Communist Party. Again, I went to the uh, Bratislava castle, I, I got to watch the sunset from there, and from the actual castle you can actually see uh, two countries. So you can see um, Austria on one side and then you can see Hungary on the other, which was quite interesting. Um, I really wanted to go to the UFO um, observatory, but unfortunately um, I kind of ran out of time and I wanted to do the castle more than that. And I also went out and checked out the presidential palace. So you can do most of the city um, within a day. Uh, within a day, I also got some local food as well. In the morning, I ended up going to Devon Castle because one of my friends who traveled there told me to go. And I wish I had more time to go to do um, Devon Castle. You can you can pro do that within a day trip. Um, unfortunately, I only had a half a day, but I did get to go there in the morning before I um, headed off to Hungary which was an experience on its own, so check out that video as well. Um, so in Devon Castle, it's an old castle up on a hill. There's trails and walks you can do along the castle. You can become a uh, medieval knight as well, where they can practice with bow and arrows and sword fighting. So there's lots to do at Devon Castle. Uh, definitely, it's definitely well worth it, so make sure you go check it out. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Don't forget to share and like. Thanks. Bye.